It's the biggest catfish I have ever had. <laughs> and we're gonna do something that I typically, actually I've never done in a video before. What is up everybody and welcome to today's video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Zach. This is SC Fish Keeping. I appreciate you stopping by. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already and as always, a very special thank you to all of my members tuning in. Now, if you watched my last video, well, if you didn't watch my last video, you should because you missed out. We actually added some little tiny baby walleye. Look at that guy. Look at that little baby walleye. One of the other ones back there. Look at him. These guys are super personable. We added three little baby walleye and six baby perch, which are hiding out into this aquarium. In that video, I told you that we were gonna start making a little bit of a run of native fish content. So we're gonna go on a little run of native fish things here. Well, that promise actually got made a little bit easier because some of you might already know, but Ben Milliken of Milliken Fishing, he and I are buddies. Every once in a while, he'll go out and he'll do some fishing and he'll think of something that would be fun to go out and catch and try and bring back as a pet. Well, he sent me this text saying that he was gonna go fish some lake and he was gonna target, we'll just put catfish for now. He was gonna target some catfish, and boy did he deliver. If you have not already seen the video, here's a quick little highlight. It's Cole, what did you get? It's a flat head. What? You Cole, you got a flat. Look at you little flathead, Cole. Sloth. Look at him, and he's the perfect little pet guy. Dude, he is so perfect. He'll be awesome in a little pond. Hey, little Tim. All right, one last move, buddy. You're all acclimated now. Welcome to your new home. Cool colors. God, that's a good looking fish. Yeah, it is. He's doing okay. But I'll put the link down below. Definitely check it out if you want to watch how like he caught these fish and we put them in. But anyway, so he goes out and he catches me not one but two monster catfish. One of which we've been talking about forever on the channel. I've been saying I want it. And it's right there. It's in the house. So this right here is my 300 gallon native pond stock tank, whatever you want to call it. I call it about as cheap of a pond as you can get for having so much water and it has made a fantastic pond. Seriously, get a stock tank, make it a pond. You, I'm talking to you, do it now. <laughs> anyway, so this pond was originally home to my smallmouth bass, but uh, the smallmouth bass has been moved out and I'll talk about that in another video. But look at what Ben brought me. Right there, behind the cover of that sponge filter, hanging out next to that little channel catfish. But that guy right there is a three plus pound flathead catfish. And I cannot tell you guys how excited I am to have this potential future monster in this pond. So here's the thing, I absolutely love catfish. I don't really get it, I know catfish aren't for everyone. To me, they're cute, they have personalities, they eat anything, they can be aggressive, and they can get absolutely huge, case in point the hybrid catfish in the pool. Flathead catfish are no different. So you take my love of catfish, you take my uh, love of being a native fish keeper and combine that with the fact that I like having fish that not many people keep and being able to share that with all of you here on my channel and you land at one specific fish and that's the flathead catfish. This is a fish that I've worked with multiple fishermen trying to target for a very, very long time. So many of you have commented telling me to get it and now we have it here in the pond and we're gonna do something that I typically actually I've never done in a video before let me tell you and that is that we're gonna try and feed this flathead catfish live on camera first time I've ever done it this way because I have no idea how it's gonna go now I know what you're thinking you're thinking Zach you fed fish before on your channel this is nothing new. Why would you say that feeding that flathead catfish is going to be a first on your channel? Anytime I do a feeding video, if it's a brand new fish that I got, like these walleye, I will not show them feeding unless I have fed them before. If it's like this largemouth over here, this guy, I know that he's always hungry and then he's gonna eat for me. So it is not a surprise for me when I try and feed him on camera, he's gonna eat. That's how it works. This flathead, I almost call them a largemouth. This flathead with the large mouth, 
I have never fed before. It has been about a week since Ben and Cole brought him over. I have not tried to feed him. He was in cold water. I wanted to warm him up, get that metabolism back up, and give him a chance to really settle in. So, when I say that we are doing a first on my channel, it's because I don't know how this is gonna go. You are gonna watch the very first time I try and feed him. I could be made to look like a fool. So here's the reason this is a little difficult and I have no idea how this is gonna go. This is a fish that was until, you know, a week or so ago, wild. He was in the wild, he was caught, added to this pond. That means he is not used to people. He is not used to hands being in his face and he's certainly not used to pre-cut little fillets of tilapia. He's used to live. Well, I don't wanna feed him live if I don't necessarily have to. And I also, you know, want to just be able to hand feed him because that'll be awesome. So I don't really know how this is going to go, but uh, we're just going to stick something in there and see what we can. Wow, can you believe it? Actually, honestly, I can. That's probably what I get for, for jinxing it, but I was so excited to show you this flathead catfish, and so I just couldn't wait to make the video until after I got him to feed. Next time we see him, he will be eating, but I owe you some catfish and some fish eating, so quick montage. So it is no flathead feeding, but at least it is a little bit of the feeding. This flathead catfish is going to be an absolute giant. It's a fish that can reach massive, massive sizes, like triple digits on the scale. So he's gonna do great in here for a while. We probably will have to end up moving him to something bigger. I do wanna get him some more cover and stuff like that. And as far as feeding goes, it'll take a while before he's obviously comfortable with me feeding. We might try things like some crayfish and some other uh, different things if he doesn't do the frozen thawed tilapia but not worried about it he's obviously very fat and very healthy Ben and Cole did a very good job so excited to make more videos for you on him I have a feeling he is going to be a favorite let me know down in the comments if you are excited about this flathead now if you did see Ben's video you know there is another monster catfish the biggest catfish I have ever had and he is in the garage we're going to do another video on him here soon um, I'm thinking about even just like diving into the pool with him so hopefully you guys are excited about that one um, yeah, musky update is going to be my next video, so uh, if you want to see the musky update, that is coming as well. So, thanks for watching. We'll just go ahead and wrap this one up. I hope you guys are excited about all the native fish. I got more stuff coming, so thank you guys for watching, and remember, this is Zach with SC Fish Keeping, reminding you that every fish is a keeper, especially an awesome flathead catfish. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. 
Si c'est un, si si. Mm.